In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add a relay to the X64 expander board. Now, on the IDS alarm system, each expander board has two programmable outputs. Now, what that means is the control panel in the main alarm, the main board, allows you to control two outputs, one, two, and then on this expander, another two. So each expander board has two programmable outputs. What does it mean to have a programmable output? Well, what it's going to do is the expander will send a 12 volt signal onto any one of these pins and it will can toggle it, turn it on, turn it off. But the output current here, available here, is not very high. So you can't, for example, connect a siren to a programmable output. It, it's not uh, the right way to do it. What you need to do is uh, connect it to a relay. So I have a Sherlatronics external relay here. I've just put some tape around it and I've just glued it onto the uh, chassis here. But really all that's underneath this white tape is a relay. And on this re external relay board I have a common, normally closed, normally open, negative and positive. Alright, so I'm going to demonstrate how I'm going to add a siren to an expander board through a relay contact. Alright, this is the siren cable that I've wired to an external siren. And I now want to be able to toggle the siren using the X64 control panel. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wire the relay board. It wants a negative and a positive. That's the negative and positive that is actually going to initiate the relay to open or close. So that can be, the positive can be connected straight to the uh, first programmable output and the negative, well that's actually the same as common. So negative and negative, that can all, those can all be connected together. So I'm now just going to short out the common. And the common on this side, I'm just going to connect these. Okay, so what I've done is I've just connected the negative and the common together. Now, the negative must also be connected to the panel's negative. Now, just below here, I have a power bank, and that's providing extensive supply. So that is why I am connecting the siren to this expander board, because the expander board is fed from a power bank. Right, so now I'm going to connect the positive to the positive of the power bank, which it's all meeting here at the power bank, and the negative Okay, now the programmable output here I now need to connect it to the positive there. So when the programmable output goes positive, it will then put 12 volts on this positive. The negative will come through to the common and it'll fire up this relay. Now it is possible to test that. You can use a SMS module and just oh, uh, set the programmable output on expander one to go high and then you can test if the relay is working. I will actually do that to demonstrate how to test this relay but first I'm going to just connect the siren to it. Right, I'm now going to connect the siren and the polarity is quite important so you must make sure that you've wired the siren correctly and I'm just going to connect it to the positive 
and then the other side I'm going to just test to see if the sign is working so it's positive and negative let's see yes I heard the siren there so now I'm going to connect this side to the normally open the normally open I only want the siren to activate when a positive signal comes on the relays uh, on the relay board from the uh, programmable output so it's normally so the wiring is common common is shorter to negative just to give the relay board power then the signal when the programmable output goes positive it will give 12 volts here the relay will switch on and it will short out the contacts of normally open and the negative activating the alarm and then I can now just put some tape over here right the re if you're wondering why the positive is connected to the green and black somebody wired the um, siren incorrect so actually this should this should actually be the positive but uh, it doesn't matter I just checked it and the siren only works in one direction so I just swapped the wires and it works it meant that the person on the other side there has wired the siren with the opposite polarity anyway nevertheless it does work okay now I'm going to test it using an SMS to see if the siren actually if the relay actually does work okay I've sent the message right there the relay is activated and it pulsed high now I'll do it one more time just to demonstrate I'm now sending a text SMS to the X X64 SMS unit and I'm now pulsing it there it was okay and the command is your user code that's the code of the alarm followed by PGM followed by space pulse H pulse for high pulse meaning uh, put a positive on the programmable output H so H straight after the word no space then followed by a space for the programmable output number this is uh, expander 1 so it is number 6 if I use the programmable number 2 then it would have been number 7 if I used pro, um, expander number 2 here then it's also got programmable output that would have been so that's 6 7 8 9 and so forth all right now if you want to program the siren to 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 into the control panel so that it knows it's a siren that's connected to that programmable output for example maybe when you arm the alarm or disarm it you want the siren to activate or if there's a panic condition or the alarm activates you want this to actually activate then I'll show you how to do to configure the control panel so that it knows that it was a siren that you've added to that programmable output well, this is what you need to do you need to get into the installer mode which is four nines you then need to go into uh, location 411 okay then it says siren output okay so we want to say uh, star now it's saying sub one which data now the data corresponds to the zone I mean to the programmable output so in this case if we have the expanders you see uh, zero zero is disabled then one two three four five are the onboard outputs on the main board but then each expander so you see I was using zone expander one so therefore it's six because it was output one on zone expander one if I wanted to use the second output programmable output on zone expander one I would have put seven so that's why that is a six so I put six star I'm just showing you and it's correct so if I go 411 it's showing me siren output yes it must output the siren which means that when the siren activates on the main panel it will also activate the programmable output number six which happens to be expander board one okay so that's how we do it okay thanks for watching